everybody and welcome to the Oink Blog and Beyond's second YouTube episode. Now this is not the one that was originally promised. That was going to be a look at my first ever comic and that is still to come. That will now be episode three. The reason we're taking a little detour first is because of something which is just off camera here uh, to the side. And as I was putting this thing together, which you will see in a little second what I mean by that, I just thought this will be a perfect thing to introduce a monthly, hopefully, uh, monthly feature of this channel, which is a look at my uh, modern day comics I'm collecting, like a monthly review of these. Okay, so um, this thing off to the right hand side of me, um, I'm gonna show you now uh, something I recorded just a couple of days ago. Okay, so just in preparation for it, um, I'm gonna need this, gonna need this, and something to measure with, ah, Yes, I do. Okay, so before I start reviewing the new comics, I need to get them sorted. Now, at the minute, my comics are kind of, well, over the place. I have my current selection here. One's missing because I'm reading it. There's more on the floor. There's ones over the table that I'm trying to get organized. Well, cue this lot. Alan and Vicky, um, he owned the store. I kindly um, have donated this to me uh, with shelves somewhere. Um, so I have decided that it's going here. You can see all my original Oink artwork. I do apologize, it's up a blue tack. It needs to get frames, but you know, times are tight at the minute, so we'll get there. But this is gonna go up and put all my comics on display as they would be basically in a comic store. Might take a while. So, let's hit fast forward. The blue tack bit, really bad idea using that stuff. This is going to take a while, so I'm going to skip this bit. There we go. So I'm going to quickly take you over the new comics I'm collecting now, or have collected in the last few years. As I said before, um, the intention with the blog was always to cover this comic originally, and then other classic comics. And this is what you will see in the background, you know, all the Transformers and uh, Oinks and, and everything else here. Um, 
that's what you'll see all the time on the written blog. On the YouTube channel, as well as extra content about this lot, you're also going to see um, reviews every month, or a roundup of the new comics I'm collecting. I thought people might be interested in it to know what it is I'm actually, after being into all these comics and writing about them for years, what has actually grabbed me enough of today's modern comics. I'm not one of these people who says, oh, they don't make comics like they used to, blah, 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 that kind of rubbish. There's some amazing titles out there today. I started collecting new comics because of one title, and now I'm collecting quite a few. Um, so let's have a wee look and see what we have. Okay, so here we go. Um, bottom shelf is still empty at the minute. I'll get to that in a second. Some of these titles are going to be like mini series and titles that appear and reappear now and again. My ongoing ones are on these top three shelves. That's quite a lot of comics these days, <laughs> which I didn't expect. Anyway, the top shelf. I thought this would have been my top shelf for obvious reasons, but actually these guys have been just amazing. I, I started with issue 250 of G.I. Joe when I found out that this by IDW is um, a continuation of the story that's in the back of the old 80s Transformers. I know it says visionaries, but most of them were action force as we called them here in the UK. Um, I will get into that in more depth and why I'm clicking each of these comics um, when I get round to um, individual sort of monthly reviews. But here you can see um, the, the old classic Marvel collections. Don't ask why I've got 1, 2, 5 and 13. Oh, oh god, that, let's just say diamond. Um, can't count. Um, so we have the ongoing G.I. Joe series here, still written by Larry Hama. Any sort of mini series here so far since I started collecting, it's only been signed to auction, been amazing. And then any sort of special. So there's a reprint here, Snake Eyes. The origin behind that is the uh, yearbooks. Any specials will go there. I wanted to keep them separate. Looks cool. Same with Transformers here. We have the ongoing new series by IDW. Absolutely amazing. I'm actually enjoying this even more than the old 80s comics. Fantastic. Galaxies is the uh, newer series tying in with this. Obviously this is all set in Cybertron at the minute and this is, as the name would imply, set out in the galaxy uh, taking in uh, different characters uh, every few stories. We have Transformers Secrets and Lies, which I haven't started reading yet. It's um, a prequel series to the original um, Marvel comics from the 80s. It's written by Simon Furman. Um, when I first had a glance at it, I thought this is just going to contradict everything because I'm reading so much of Again, these, um, I keep thinking, right, this is going to contradict it all because there were so many additional British stories uh, written. Is this just going to be a prequel to the original American stories and not all the British ones that we got to enjoy alongside it? But there's a wee FAQ, sort of like a director's commentary uh, at the back of each issue. If you think something is a contradiction, uh, Simon Furman explains it perfectly how it is not. So he has really done a really good job. I'm waiting... Believe it or not, I might wait until I finish these before I read this, but I will keep collecting it. And then actually, hang on, that is the wrong way around, because this is part of this series. So again, just like G.I. Joe above it, that will be for any, um, that's basically for any specials, tying in with IDW's new series, which only began what, a year and a half ago. And so far, the one he had, since I started collecting this here, since this began, the one he just had their Valentine special, which is very funny, very good. Moving on down, my latest um, one I started collecting was Batman, uh, thanks to the Joke of War. I've always loved Batman as a kid. Again, I'll go into all these in, in more depth when I'm going over my actual comics, not just what I have on display. Um, so that's the uh, ongoing Batman, started collecting it a few issues ago. Um, three Jokers, one of these special DC Black Label. Very, very happy I got into that. That's only issue one so far. Brilliant. Undiscovered Country. Um, fantastic uh, new series about what happens after America blocks itself off from the rest of the world. And Canto. And behind that we have uh, the book from, of series one of Canto. That's a one-off between series. In fact, I just realised I have um, latest editions of things like Transformers Galaxies and Canto somewhere else in the house. I'm still reading them. I haven't added them here yet. Next shelf down. I do apologise. Forgive me. Some of these are not bagged and boarded because the edit that I was in the old house I was in, I took a lot of bag and boards out because I just want the way I wanted to 
display them was like side by side like a record collection and stupidly I took them out of bags and boards. A lot of those bags and boards have gone missing and they moved to this house so I'm going to have to buy them. The Resistance by J. Michael Trzynski, um, who created one of the greatest TV shows of all time. Um, so The Resistance is going to eventually spin off. This is a whole brand new universe of superheroes starting it from scratch. So Resistance will be six issues. There's also then going to be another six issues of The Resistance, but then there'll be individual uh, series of maybe six issues of pop of different characters within this universe. So that those will probably fill up this shelf. So Resistance will probably get its own shelf here eventually. In the meantime, though, we have here at Ghostbusters Answer the Call. There's one real Ghostbusters um, just in behind there. But again, uh, it's these ladies' fault that I have started collecting comics all over again. They are absolutely hilarious. These comics have been brilliant. And uh, their own mini series is um, back here. So it is. Um, I'm hopeful, really, really hopeful that they'll come back in another series soon. Battlestar Galactica Twilight Command was another mini series tying in with the third series of the show, which is now just discovered there last week, the week before, is all on the BBC iPlayer for the next year. So that is going to keep me very busy if there's another lockdown. Um, that was a brilliant mini series. I'm hopeful there's going to be more. I know there's been previous Battlestar Galactica comics, so I might look into going back and collecting them. Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. Go bots by IDW. Um, a very silly but very interesting uh, five issue mini series, um, the rivals of the Transformers toys in the 80s, with a great twist at the end that Transformers fans will love. Down the next shelf, um, To the Death, written by Simon Furman, drawn by Jeff Senior. Fans of Transformers will love that combination. Again, Diamond. Oh no, sorry, not Diamond. I do apologize. Sorry, this is um, independently distributed and there's an issue missing out of it. Coffee Heroes are doing their best to track it down for me. They've been amazing in getting this quite hard to order comic in. So there's one issue missing in the middle of that and then I'll read it all. I love HG Wells. So um, I had a Dr. Moreau two-part adaptation there. It's a G.I. Joe um, which was made simply because of the person behind it. Um, I'm gonna look into why actually I've completely forgotten um, <coughs> who, he, who he is. Um, it was just a three-part story not tied into any G.I. Joe uh, at all. So it's why it's down here further down the shelf and I'm a sucker for anything to do with these guys. So empty shelf. I am thinking it might be these but it all depends on Marvel Comics. I've got the license from Dark Horse and while they have they are going to be collecting together a lot of the old Dark Horse comics um, I'm not too sure if Marvel are just going to start again from scratch or whether they're going to carry on the stories that Dark Horse have. Um, it began all those years ago. I have a big, massive book here, some of those early stories. I haven't read it yet. I used to read them um, many moons ago, back in the 90s. If it's a continuation, I will then start going back and collecting all the Dark Horse stuff. And there's a great big shelf down there to start doing that with. If it's brand new from Marvel, I don't know, I'll see what it's like. Um, I might dip in and just start clicking from there instead. But there you go. That's all the new comics. Clicking at the minute. So that's it for now. The next blog will be the aforementioned promised uh, my first ever comic. And I'll be with you uh, hopefully in a few days. Until then, take care and stay safe. <laughs> They're made from hell. Eat the nasty butcher man. Pigs in the daytime, pigs at night. If you read on, you'll be alright. Cause pigs will know that you're okay. Cause the pigs are here to stay. Oh, oh, oh.